What's going on, Vikes? In today's show, we got some cool stuff. I'm Cade, and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. With all these online classes starting up, I went and talked to Mrs. Geist to find out some more information in the science department. So guys, I'm here with Mrs. Geist. She's going to tell us a little, about the, a little bit about the science classes. And uh, so what, what is going to happen with the online science classes? Well, they're obviously going to look a little bit different than how they did in our classrooms. Um, we will be using Schoology as our primary mode to give you guys instructions. Um, a lot of the teachers will be posting links to online labs and simulations. However, Mr. Figs just posted a lab that you guys can do at home. So hop on Schoology and check that out. Okay, and then what do students, what do they, what do they need to know? Um, for students to be most successful during this time of continuous learning, the big thing is set a routine. Wake up at a good time, brush your teeth, eat some breakfast, then start working on your schoolwork. We're not expecting you to do a whole lot of work, about 30 minutes per class period, um, and just try your best. Reach out for help if you need it. Um, all the teachers have office hours, but you can also shoot them an email or a Schoology message at any time. And lastly, are parents going to need to do anything? No. Well, yes. Uh, parents don't have to be the expert in science. Mm -hmm. That's our job as educators. What we want parents to do is to serve as kind of a role model um, to help guide the kids into, you know, how much work did you get done today? What did you learn in biomed? Um, do you need help with anything? And then if their student needs help, they should remind their student to email or reach out to the teachers, um, maybe have an idea of when their teacher's office hours are, and encourage them to hop on for those. Okay, well, thanks for making time for the interview. Now, back yeah. to your anchors. Make sure you listen to Mrs. Geist take her advice and stay on an orderly schedule. Grab-and-go lunches are available at Logan Elementary and Middle School. You can pick up food from 11 to noon, and a student must be present. All library resources are still available through Schoology. If you do not have access to the and to the E and auto audio books, contact Mrs. Esser. Check out the public library for things to do during this time, such as ebooks and movies. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask a teacher or counselor, and I'm sure they'll get back to you. Justin is here to give us an update on the NBA 2K tournament. Let's go check it out. Hey Vikes, here's your update on the SVTV NBA 2K Tournament. Because of the lockdown, the tournament will be slowing down as cross-platform games are unable to be played. So while the commissioner is dealing with that problem, he has given us a all-star weekend. There will be a three-point contest, a slam dunk contest, and an all-star game. The captains of the all-star game are the MVP voting leaders Kevin Durant and Paul George. Here's a, here's a little sneak peek into what you can expect this weekend.
The draft will be held today and will be announced on SVTV tomorrow, so make sure to tune in. With the weather being really nice outside recently, let's go to Zoe to find out if it'll stay. What's up guys? It's your guy Elias Mosier here and hey, I got a great product for you. It's called SVTV Live Streaming, okay? We want to get this done so we can see all those sports like go touchdown bowl, man. Like get a strike, my dude, and golf. Like, you know, these great sports. If you want to see them live, all you got to do is go down and hit that subscribe button. Just smash that subscribe button, guys. Don't forget to turn on that bell notification and like the video. Thanks, guy. See you later. afternoon Vikings. We did see some really nice weather yesterday and I hope you all got outside and enjoyed those nice temperatures while they last because today we are going to be going down to the cooler side of the temperatures instead of raising up. But on Friday we are expected to be raising back up into the closer 70s area. But unfortunately after Friday our temperatures will continue to drop but they will be staying in the 60s. We do have a slight chance of rain tomorrow and Saturday, but we do have a more prominent chance of rain late Monday night into Tuesday morning day. And this chance isn't that huge, but it is enough that we need to be paying attention to it and planning around it. For your SVTB day 7 day forecast, we are going to be warming back up into the 60s and staying there for about the rest of this week until next week when we will be dipping back into the 50s. Now this nice warm temperatures will be continuing after the 50s and during the 50s we are expecting quite a bit of rain. So make sure you plan around those temperatures and rainy clouds. Now back to your anchor. Thank you Zoe. As of right now, I am not sure what the next Stuco challenge is, but we should know by tomorrow's show. Morgan is here to update us on what is happening in our community. Due to all school activities being coordinated online for the rest of the semester, some aspects of public school will be lost temporarily. This week, we asked students what they miss about school the most. Most students seem to agree that spending time with their friends at school is what they will miss the most. Other students, however, miss the Viking brew and teachers. Last but not least, there are students who will miss their last chance to play sports in high school, such as senior Ashley Sadler, who will be missing out on her last soccer season. Times are tough right now, but we can make things better by supporting one another. Hang in there, Vikes. Now, back to the show. Well, Vikes, that is all I have for you on this lovely Thursday. Make sure to tune in tomorrow, and I'll see you later. I hate this chair. No, no.